So just exactly what is a quadratic equation? That's what we're about to talk about. So a quadratic equation is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. And so it is of this form, and so there are three things that you want to look for to determine if it's a quadratic equation or not. And so just like with linear equations, there has to be one variable only, there has to be an equal sign, and then the highest exponent on the variable has to be two. Okay, so the three things again, there has to be one variable, an equal sign, and the three things on the variable, and the highest exponent on the variable has to be two. If you have those three things, then you have a quadratic equation. So I'm gonna give you some examples and I want you to tell me if they're quadratic or not. So here we go. 3x minus four equal five. Is that a quadratic equation? If you said no, you are correct. There is an equal sign, there's one variable, but the highest exponent on that variable is not two. There is no exponent, or there's an understood exponent of one, and so therefore that makes this a linear equation. This is not a quadratic equation. So, another example. 2x squared minus 5x equal to seven. Is that a quadratic equation? Yes, that is a quadratic equation. There's one variable x, there's an equal sign, and the highest exponent, so this one has a one, but this one has a two, so the highest exponent on the x is two, so that makes that quadratic. Another example, so that one would be yes. 3x squared minus 2x minus 4x to the third equal zero. Is that quadratic equation? No, it's not. What's wrong with this one? It has one variable, one equal sign, but the highest exponent on x is now three. It has one with the two, but it's not the biggest. The biggest is three, so this is not a quadratic equation. Next example, x squared minus four equal to y. Is that a quadratic equation? Your answer should be no. What's wrong with this one? So the highest exponent is two. There's an equal sign, but now there are two variables. You have X and Y, so it's not a quadratic equation. Okay, so last one, what about three X squared equal to five? Is that a quadratic equation? Yes, it is. You have one variable, you have an equal sign, and the highest exponent is two, so that makes that a quadratic equation. Once you have established that you have a quadratic equation, there are four different ways you can go about solving a quadratic equation. The first way is you can solve by factoring, you can solve using the square root property, you can solve by completing the square, and then you can solve using the quadratic formula. And so check out the video for each one of those methods. Again, factoring, square root property, completing the square, and quadratic formula. Each one works differently, and each one can only be used um, at certain times. So make sure you check out the video for each one of those.